Maria are trying to root out the snakes, but despite their courage and conviction, they are few, and the cultists are like grains of sand in the desert. The villagers, well, they are either too scared to do anything, or they too worship Aten. Like I said, it's a nest of vipers. You stick your hand in, you might get bit. Your help is desperately needed, but be careful out there. Watch your back. You can never know who to trust. When I look at you, the first thing I see is potential. Unlimited potential for improvement. I'm not talking about you specifically, so much as the colors you serve under. Why is it that you need to fight over absolutely everything? You're not that different, you know. I've worked with agents from all the factions. Potato, potato. In the end, it's all the same. You just need to find a way to work together. United against darkness, remember? What a lot of people don't realize is that the Council of Venice was never something that was imposed upon the factions. In fact, the Council was created by the factions to promote cooperation and temper the conflicts, to keep the secret world secret, to prevent all-out war and to bring some order to the anarchy. But it seems we have forgotten the lessons of the past. If we don't get our act back together, I fear we're heading for another Armageddon, and fast. I complain a lot about the Council, and not always in a constructive way, but at the end of the day, I do believe in it, and what it's trying to do. I believe with all my heart that the Council is needed, and that it is possibly our only hope for the future. For a future. That's why it's so frustrating when we get mired down in pointless rhetoric and conflict again and again and again. Being part of the secret world is an obligation as much as it is a privilege. I know, I know. You see all the bright lights and the parties, the fireworks and the power, but I don't believe we should be doing any of this for ourselves. We should be doing it for them. For all those who have no clue about how the world really works, about what goes on below the surface. It's on us to make sure there is a world for their children to grow up in, free from harm, from darkness. So think about that the next time you receive your orders. The next time they ask you to dance to their tune. Ask yourself, why are you a part of this? Who are you doing it for? <laughs>